<laughs> Don't play with me. Amen. We're going to get this word. Yes. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. Amen. Yes. Amen. So last week, amen, we was talking about, amen, loving God yes. with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. Yes. Amen. How many of y'all went home and read your scripture? Amen. Oh, Told y'all yes. to read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Yes, amen. Praise God. Listen, if you didn't read, I want you to go home this week and read it. Amen. All right. Amen. And then I want to share some things with you today about how can I love myself. Yes. How can I love myself? And I told you, amen, we was going to come back, amen, on loving ourselves, amen? Praise God. So let's get our Bibles. We're going back to the book of Matthew, amen, and we're going to the 22nd verse, I mean, 22nd chapter, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, and verses 36 through 40, amen, so let's refresh our memory on verses 36 through 40, amen, in the ESV, what does it say? Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. Yes. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Yes. On these two commandments depend all the law of the prophets. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we're looking at these verses, amen, you see, praise God, that Jesus Amen. Was trying to help them understand. And you know, for a lot of people, and we talked about this last week, for a lot of people, it's not hard for us to say we love the Lord. Amen. Come on, come right? on. Yes. Excuse me. And even sometimes we talk about we, we want to love people. But I'm telling you, you cannot. And even as we look in the word today, you're going to see the, how hard it is for you to love anybody else if you can't yes. love yourself. Amen. Amen. Yes. And I'm not talking about this worldly stuff. You come know what I'm saying? On, Where on. you put yourself up on the pedestal and every day and everybody and every oh every day is about yes. you. Come Jesus. on. Amen. That's not what we're talking yes. about. Amen. Amen. But if you don't have a good understanding of yourself, yes. if you don't have a love of yourself, it's hard for you to give your heart to somebody yes. else when you don't even trust yourself. Yes. Come on, yes. come on. When you don't even like yourself. Yes. Because on. things have happened to you. People have said things. To you, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever noticed how hard it is when somebody says something really mean and something really nasty to you? How hard it is to get it out your head? Yes. It's on. not just because words hurt. A lot of times it's because we really believe what they say. Yes. Come on. Yes. And stuff that they have said to us, we can't get it out of our spirit because we really don't have a good understanding yes. of our identity in God. Yes. And you have to understand that this is closely related to the spirit of shame yes. and the spirit of condemnation. Yes. And you got to understand that all of this stuff makes you feel like you're less than, you're not yes. worthy. God ain't going to do it for me. Yes. He did it for them, but he's not going to do it for me. You know what I'm saying? And we're going we gonna to tear that wall down today. Amen. We're going to blow that house up today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so Jesus is saying that just as is as important as it is for you to love him yes. and just as important it is for you to love your neighbor yes. you got to love yourself yes. Amen. come on amen and that might be difficult but i'm gonna teach you how to do that they got all this these seminars teach me how to love you know i'm gonna teach you how to love your own self amen yes. amen. amen you're not ready for no relationships yes. you're not ready for nothing yes. unless you learn how to love yourself yes. Yes. Because a lot of times the environments that we've grown up in, yes. a lot of times just going to school, going to yes. work, coming to church, oh sometimes we encounter people who don't help us love ourselves. Yes. My God, yes. my God. Amen? Amen. All right. So we saw that on last week. That That, that is the idea. That's the benchmark for us. Yes. Loving others is you have to love yourself. Yes. Remember? Love. So when we say love your neighbor as yourself, what that is actually saying in the same way or the same manner that you love your neighbor, you are supposed to love yourself. Okay? Love is to regard the welfare of, just in case you forgot the definition, all right, to take pleasure in, to treat as a special prize. Now, let me tell you something. To treat yourself as a special prize, that's not just on the day that you're going to get your nails done or your feet done Amen. or celebrate a birthday or anniversary. That's when we really like, we want to turn up. Yay. You Take know what I'm saying? Yay. On a special Take occasion. <laughs> and in our modern day vernacular, turning up is taking care of myself. Yay. I'm doing something that I like that looks Yay. out for me. But you got to learn how to really turn up for real, for real on a daily basis. Yes, God. And I ain't talking about partying, drinking, Hallelujah. and drugging. I ain't talking about that. Come on here. Amen. I ain't talking about getting no weed and going to get high. Amen. Come on, amen. I'm not talking about get 
give you no Mad Dog 2020. I ain't talking about none of that stuff. You think I don't know? Oh, I know. Okay, I'm sanctified today, but I wasn't always. Hallelujah. Sanctified. Come on, amen. Hallelujah. So we talk about how you treat yourself. Yes, Lord. Amen. You ever you ever find yourself sometime, you know you got a couple of quarters in your pocket, and like, you know, it seems like when we get down to our last little bit of change, that's when we want to treat ourselves. Cause we start feeling bad because we don't have nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You like, I'm gonna go get me that double whopper. I don't normally eat that, and this is my last five dollars. I might not be able to give me no fries with it, but I'm gonna have that double whopper. Come on. Today. Come on. Come on. Listen here. You think I don't know? That's the word of God. For me, amen, a turn up for me in the drive thru is to drink regular soda yes, instead of diet soda. Yes, <laughs> I ain't drinking Woo! no diet today. I'm going to get all the sugar. Yes. <laughs> amen. Because we do these external things to try to make ourselves feel better hey, right. because we don't really love ourselves. Hey. Amen. We go through hardships and then we tell ourselves this is what we deserve. You may not say it out loud, but let's let's sit, take a minute and think about what do you say when you get in your bedroom or your bathroom when you close the door? Yeah. And you stand and look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Even in this world that we live in, we've been taught, amen, to shame ourselves. Yeah. You're not skinny enough. You're not light enough. You're not yeah. dark enough. You know what I'm saying? Your hair not straight enough. You know what I'm saying? Your head too nappy. Come on, amen. You got too many pimples. You know what I'm saying? Your butt too big. Your stomach too big. Your, your, your jaw too big. All these things, we look at these externals because we're not happy with ourselves. And you got to understand that the Bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are beautiful just the way you are. Amen. Don't nobody care that you're not a size 10. Nobody don't care that your feet too big. Preach, Come on, preach, amen. Preach, That's right. stuff that this world says. And because we're so caught up in this stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We've lost our identity in this society. Right. Yeah. We don't know what we like because we've compared ourselves to everything we've seen on TV. Uh-huh. And we try to make ourselves after what we see. Yeah. What we see in movies, what we see yeah. in videos. Yeah. Come on here, amen. Yeah. What we see, amen, in the, in the, in the mall. Yeah. Oh, I like the way he dressed. I'm going to dress like that. Yeah. I like the way she dressed. I'm going to dress like that. Yeah, right. So you never really find out what you like. Come on, come because on. Because you've been thinking that you got to like everything that everybody else likes. Hey, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm going to get to it. So how you relate to yourself and how you treat yourself is going to show us how you're going to treat others. Yeah. If you treat yourself with self-hatred, then we already know you can't do what Jesus commands us to do. He said that that, this is, I'm giving you two commandments, and these two are hinged on the whole and entire law. Yeah. This is what everything that God is doing is built on. Mm-hmm. Not just loving him, but loving yourself and yeah. loving your neighbor. Yeah. That's serious. Amen. Not just, oh, but we got to love God. Yes, I want to love God. And I do love God, but we got to deal with how do I love myself? Yeah, yeah. Do I even love myself? Yeah. Because you suffer loss don't mean that you can't love yourself. Yeah. Listen, a lot of times because we go through hard things, you know, we suffer hardships, and then we start beating ourselves up. Let me ask you a question. When you do something wrong, how long does it take you to get over what you did wrong? Yeah. Ask yourself that question. How many times do you play the same mistake over and over and over again in your mind before you let it go? When you already went to God and asked God to forgive you, why are you beating yourself up? Come on. That's because we don't love ourselves as we should. We don't even think that that we are worthy of God's love. And so because of that, when we do something wrong, I'm just terrible. I'm just terrible. I can't believe I did that. You're so stupid. I can't believe you did that. You didn't see that coming. How you didn't see that coming? How you didn't know about that? How you let that get to you like that? How you let them tear you down like that? Like you're just dumb. You ever tell yourself you're just yeah. dumb? You yeah. say the wrong stuff yeah. to yourself? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's not the way that when you love somebody, you don't talk to them like that. 
When you love yourself, you don't talk to yourself like that. Yeah. If somebody walked up to you and told you you were stupid, how would you feel? Yeah. Right? You don't cry to chop him in the throat. That's it. <laughs> Who you talking to, boo? You talking to me. You're not talking to me. Okay. I'm coming, man. You said what? Hey. Amen. Because hey. you know we quick. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what we believe about ourselves, we see it reflected in our relationships. If you don't feel like you're worthy of anybody really being with you, then you will pull off to yourself and won't allow yourself to have friends. Yes. Come on. Mm. Come on. I'm going to give you a couple of verses of scripture because I know I won't get to all of them. Genesis 1 and 26 tells us that we have been made in the image of God. I understand that you were born from your mother. I understand that you are the fruit of your daddy. I understand that you look like your uncle, your aunt, or whoever, but listen to me. You have been created in the image of God. I don't care if you do look like your mama. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yay. It doesn't matter who you look like. The image, the likeness that you are in is the image of God. Amen. Listen to me. We, you know what we used to say when we was growing up? God don't make no junk. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't hear them saying that too often nowadays. We need to bring that back. God don't make no junk. Amen. I don't care how many mistakes you made. I don't care who told you you were worthless. God did not make any junk. You are in the image of God. It don't matter if you alone. It don't matter if you married. It doesn't matter if you ain't got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That does not equate your worth. Amen. Amen. Come on. Because you are made in the image of God. When you understand this, this puts better value on who you are. Somebody can walk up to you and tell you, you ugly, you stink, your feet stink, your breath stink, you don't love Jesus. They can say whatever they want to say to you. But when you know who you are, yeah. when you know that you have been created in the image of God, you can tell me whatever you want to tell me. That don't mean I believe yeah. it. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So you are created in the image of God. You may do things wrong on a daily basis, but it does not take away the value and how valuable you are to God. He loved you so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for you. You can't get nobody to live for you today. And we got a Savior who died for us. Amen. First Peter chapter 1 verses 18 and 19 tells us that we have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus. This word redeem, amen, is from the Greek word, amen, that means to ransom, to pay a price to release someone from captivity. Yeah, my God. Amen. Listen, in, in our world, the more yeah. expensive something is, the more valuable it is, right? right. The more it costs, yeah. the more value we place on it, okay? Would you pay for a pocketbook when you yeah. go over to Kmart? $20, $25, is not the same value that you're going to place on a Louis Vuitton that you buy from a department store. Oh, my God. We know Jesus. she want that Louis, God. <laughs> Bless the Lord, she want that Louis, Jesus. <laughs> and so you might put your Kmart bag on the floor, but you're not going to put that Louis Vuitton on that dirty floor. wants to fight you and make you waste your life with foolishness. This is why he wants to make you think that you're not valuable. This is why he wants to make you think that you junk when God don't make no junk. Come on, amen. I don't see nobody going to the garbage pile and paying amen top dollar to buy trash. Amen. Come on here. But Jesus paid top dollar for us. He gave his life. Oh, that's a powerful thought. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. So we put that value because of the price that was paid. Honey, you're more expensive than a Louis Vuitton bag. Amen. Ladies, can I tell you something? Don't be mad if regular Joe Smo come up to you and he try to take you out. He got to be able to afford you. Yes. Help Brothers. somebody. Help come on. Amen. Help 
Brothers, let me tell you, if Susie Ho 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 want to walk up to you and try to shake it, amen, all what her mama gave her, she got to be able to afford you. And I ain't talking about prostitution. That's right. Yes, Lord. Yes. I'm talking about because you are valued in the eyesight of God. Because you are precious in the eyesight of God. And because you are precious in the sight of God, you can't just be with any old body. Come on, amen. amen. Or you gonna go pick up a bum off the street and say, This is my boyfriend. Amen. Come why? Cause... <laughs> exactly. D got a job. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Listen, um, that's nice. He got a shopping cart, but he can't get you nowhere in his shopping cart. Yes, <laughs> you too big to fit in that front part right there to go ride. Yes, Lord. <laughs> you ain't riding in that. Hey. At all. Amen. amen. He better put a motor on it. on you. Stop settling. Uh-huh. You ain't got to settle for nothing. Yes, Lord. I don't care who walked away from you. I don't care who told you you weren't worth it. You are worth it. Amen. Because Jesus said so. Yes. Because he paid the highest price. Yes. Amen. He already put the value on you. If nobody ever told you that you were worth someone loving you, I'm here to tell you today, you are worth it. Yes. Come on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. That means that I ain't got to eat McDonald's every day. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's nice. You want to take me out, bro, to McDonald's? I can take myself to McDonald's. Come on. Come on. But the way my life is set up. Exactly. And the work that I find out that I've got, I think I hear Ruth's Chris call me. Yes, God. What? I think you didn't take me to New York so we go to the surf. Come on here, amen. amen. You gotta understand your value. Yes. Listen, however, how, how like we were talking yesterday about um those shoes that Jalen bought, right? Uh-huh. And we were talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Now, how many of y'all used to wear bobos once upon a time? You didn't have name brand shoes. Come on. Now, you walk one way when you got a pair of $20 sneakers on. But, honey, when you put on them $150 shoes, don't on. step on my feet. I'm not walking in no puddles. Come on here, amen. I'm standing right from the dirt. Come on here, amen. what you work you with. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can have a po- have a bad headache, a backache, well, that put a pair of pumps on. Mm. <laughs> that changes everything, don't it? It yeah. changes how you sit. It changes how you carry yourself. Yeah. Come on. This is what I'm telling you. You got to understand, you may not even see what you're wearing, but you have already been clothed in righteousness. So it should change the way you sit. It should change way you want. It's a change the way you think about yourself because you are valuable. Hallelujah. That's a powerful thought. Can I tell you why Donald Trump acts such a fool? Lord bless him, God. That's our president. I believe in us praying for him. But can I tell you why he acts up? Because he knows his name is Donald Trump. That's right. He's the first man to have monuments in his name before he became president. He already know I got monuments. Y'all can y'all don't gotta build no statues for me. I got my own. Come on, amen. amen. What can the presidency give me that I didn't have when I walked oh, in the amen. office? I already know I got power in the corporate world. I already know that I got power. Come on here, amen. Hey. I already know that my name carries weight. Hey. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Right. He's arrogant, bless his heart. Hallelujah, he needs to be saved. Lord, yes, save him. I mean, I mean him no disrespect because the Bible says don't speak evil of dignities. Yes, yes. Amen. We want to pray for him. We want to believe God for him. Yes. But at the same time, that's an example. He's not apologetic because he knows who he is. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's Picture right. me being sorry that God called me to be who I am. Do you ever tell anybody, well, I'm sorry, but, you know, so-and-so is my mom. Why would I look like going to apologize to people because of the family I was born in? That was out of my hands. If you don't like it, then I'm Nikki's daughter tough. Get over it. Build a bridge. (laughs) Nothing we can do about it. Hallelujah. 
So what am I saying to you? I'm telling you, you have to be secure in your identity. Amen. Be secure in your identity. I didn't say be arrogant. I didn't say be proud. It doesn't matter who questions you. Do you question you? Come on. Come on. Now. Come on. Amen. Good word. Jesus had to go into the wilderness. Amen. And during his time in the wilderness, amen, he had to face what we call the if thou test. That everything that he faced while he was fasting, the, the enemy kept coming to him saying, well, if you be the son of God. Then why don't you turn these stones into bread? Jesus knew that that's not what he was supposed to do because he was secure in his identity. And what does that have to do with me? That has a lot to do with me because what happens is if I don't know who I am, when I'm facing temptation, I will do the wrong thing. Right, that's right. I will walk in the wrong direction. Right. I will abuse my authority hey, hey. when I don't know who I am because I feel like I got to prove something to the devil who's tempting me. Do you understand what I'm saying? So nothing could turn him because he already knew. The devil was questioning him. What were you really? Hmm. If you be the son of God, listen, why don't you? I'm gonna take you up here to this pinnacle. Amen. And why don't you just throw yourself down from here? Because doesn't the Bible say that God will give his angels charge concerning you, lest you dash your foot against the stone? But yeah. Jesus already knew. Look, the Bible says, don't tempt the Lord your God. Come on, help me. And he already knew, bro, when I get finished with this, yeah. all this going to be mine anyway. So why would I throw myself down yeah. when I already know what my father's already promised to me? I'm his son. Yeah. And there's nothing that he's going to withhold from me. Yeah. Don't you know that the Bible says that we are heirs and joint heirs with Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord. Do you know what an heir is? That's somebody who inherits something. Yes. That means that you have been written into the will of yes. God. Oh, that's serious. Yes. If you could catch it, I would preach that, but that's all right. You have been written into the will yes. of God. Somebody could have died and not left you anything, but guess what? Jesus died and he left you everything. Yes. Yes. Left you everything. Your identity included. Amen? So we understand our value because of the price that Jesus has put on our life. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what do you put your value of yourself? What do you put your value on? How do you know how valuable you are? Is it somebody telling you that you're valuable? Is it somebody telling you that you're loved? You got to get beyond what people say. Because Amen. in this life, people are going to tell you everything that you're not. Mm. You're right. You you're right. You're right. You're right. They're going to they're they're capitalize on your weaknesses. Woo. They're going to speak everything that they don't see. But yeah. one of the things that I love about Jesus is that he speaks to our potential even when we don't see it. Oh, oh. Even when we don't see our own potential. What you mean? When the Lord was telling me what I was going to do, I was like, yeah, okay. Whatever. When that's going to happen? Who going to make that happen? How's that going to happen? You sure you're talking about me, God? Jesus. I'm just hey. somebody's wife. I'm just uh, somebody's mother. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a bad carrier. What you talking about? I can pray I'm a prayer warrior. I'll Come do on, that. Boy. I on. might prophesy once Jesus. in a while. That's enough. <laughs> what you mean you're going to use me? What you mean? I'm going to do what? And that's the thing when God starts showing us what he has for us, it's hard for us to believe it because we don't even see ourselves like that. You're right. Mm. My God. My God. Don't even see. What do you mean I could be happy? What do you mean I don't have to cry every day? What do you mean I don't have to be depressed? What do you mean that I don't have to let what other people say about me weigh on me? Yeah. Come on. This is serious. Because you know what? If you ever get a hold of this, and the enemy knows it, if you ever get a hold of this, you won't, you won't do things wrong and go to jail. Come on. You won't get out there. You know why? Because temptation will come, and you'll know that's not who I am. Jesus. My God. That's not who I am. Come on. Amen. If, 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 if a boy come up to you or a girl come up to you and they're trying to bring you, you know, get you to do things you have no business doing and all the rest of that stuff, yeah. you already know I'm not doing that because that's not who I yeah. am. Jesus. I'm valuable. Yeah. I'm not giving you nothing. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Because I belong to God. Come on. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it doesn't mean that if you already have that it makes you less than. No. Because you're still valuable. Yeah. yeah. 
valuable. I needed the Lord to tell me that because as a young person, amen, I didn't know no better. Nobody didn't tell me that I was valuable in the eyes of God. Come on. Come on. So I got out there, amen, praise God with my crazy self. I was literally crazy, literally, literally crazy with medication and all. Amen. Amen. And, and was doing everything that I thought I was grown enough to do. Drinking, smoking, sleeping here and there, aborting babies, all kind of stuff. All with false, with, with false um, ID because I didn't understand who I was. I didn't know that you know how we sing the song, Yes, Jesus loves me. It's more than a song. Amen. 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 When I realized that Jesus really does love me, I tell you, I cried for at least an hour. When his love really swept over me and I realized how much I meant to him, it brought me to tears. Yes. You love me? Yes. All the stuff I did. You love me, the one who everybody walked away from? You love me, the one who everybody said all these mean things to? You love me? What do you mean you love me? And I didn't have to pay for it. I didn't have to do anything for it. I didn't have to sing him a special song. I didn't have to dance in a circle. Come on, amen. It was just a reality that I am his and he is mine. And I don't have to do anything to prove my love other than just love him. Amen. Amen. Can you just clap your hands for Jesus? Hallelujah. Now, the flip side of that, and this is how we always can tell who really is dealing with self-hatred and, and, and low self-esteem, is that they walk in pride. Come on. Mm-hmm. You ever see people that's arrogant? Mm-hmm. You ever see people, hey, amen, they're always talking tall? Well, I don't care. Yes, you do. The fact that you said you don't care <laughs> says, <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this, Romans 12 and 3, Paul says, Oh, the writer of Romans says, I say through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly as God has dealt with every, every one of us a measure of faith. So don't think of yourself higher than you ought. Now, see, this is where in the church we get stuff mixed up. Come on. We get things mixed up. Because how can I love myself, but then not speak well of myself? But then you say, don't think too high of myself. Yeah. Get it right. You got to have a balance. Amen. You know what I'm saying? You're not walking around here like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not my collar, I'm all that in a bag of chips. You know, I'm a Susan Q and all that. You know what I'm saying? That right there, no, we know we say that that's just, you know, language that we use in our day. But when you are really allowing God to, to, to let you know who you are and you walk in the identity that he's given to you, you don't have to tell nobody who you are. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's good. Because confidence shows. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. People who want attention, we already know what they do. There's all kinds of stuff that people do when they want attention. Yes. They wear their skirts too short. They're way too much makeup. Way. You ever see when they put like, like pounds and pounds of makeup? They wear their pants too tight. You know what I'm saying? Anything to bring attention to themselves. You know what I'm saying? And so when we do these extra things, it's because we don't feel like we have any worth. Come on. Come and so you got to deal with those issues that make you feel like you're not worthy because you are. Amen. Somebody, listen, I want y'all to do this. Is, we're going to have like a little self-help portion. This self-help That's right good. here. That's good. That's good. I want you to lay hands on yourself. Yay. Okay, and I want you to repeat after me. All right, no pride, no arrogance, none of that. But I want you to lay hands on yourself and say, Lord, Lord, I thank you you that you love me and you love me me just the way I am. I'm made in the image of God. I'm not junk. And I am worth your love. You proved it to me when you paid the highest price. For me, me. on Calvary, Calvary. I'm not junk. junk. I do love me. I do love me. me. Listen, say it again. I do love me. I do love me. And you gotta, if you gotta tell yourself every day 
that you love yourself. Yes. The hardest thing for us to do is to really be able to love ourselves. There's no way I'm going to get all of this in today. Amen. We'll do it another time. But I want us to make sure that we're not walking in pride. Pride has two phases. It's arrogance and superiority and then uh, inferiority and false humility. So you have some who say, you know what I'm saying, you know, um, the Lord loves me. And I'm, I, you know, I'm just preoccupied with stuff. Everything is me, 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 me. I, 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 I. It's all about me. Yes. Come on. Amen. And then that means that these people become insensitive and unaware of other people's needs. You ever be around people that it's always about them, but they never concerned about anybody else. Yes. Never yes. trying to check for nobody else. Yes. Never trying to, you okay? You need anything? Yes. Is everything all right? Can I come pick you up? Can I? Can you come and hang out with me for a little while? You look like something is bothering you today. Are you okay today? You're aware of other people, but folks who are walking in pride, come on, and people who are preoccupied with themselves don't look at any of that. That's the only thing they're concerned about is themselves. That's right. People with inferiority and false humility means that they neglect or despise and they reject themselves. Amen. Okay? And then they let people override their boundaries. They let people mistreat them and abuse them. They let people talk to them any kind of way, beat them up. What else do you need from me? You need anything else? Mm. Didn't you just tell me I was stupid? Hold on. And when you see people in that state, they're in need of healing because they don't love themselves. Yeah. Both of those situations, their minds are distorted concerning their view of themselves. Uh -huh. And if you fit anywhere in there, you've got to let the love of God in. I know sometimes it's hard, especially when people hurt you and people say things to you and whatever, but you can't allow that to make you posture yourself and put up a wall. And we usually put up one of, one of the two. We either put up that, I don't care, whatever. I don't need you. Bye, bye, talk to the hand. We do all of that, which means I'm hurting and I'm pushing you away because this is a sore spot for me. And I don't want to let you near it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Or we make ourselves the carpet. I let you walk up the front of me and down the back. Come on. It happens. It happens. Yes. Yes. There are people who do this every day. These are the kind of people who get in abusive relationships. These are the kind of people, you know what I'm saying, that they get in church and church people abuse them and mistreat them always. Because they don't have a good view of themselves. And the scripture tells us yeah. to think soberly. Mean it be of sound mind. Yeah. Don't be stuck on you, but don't feel like you're less than either. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we don't want to be full of ourselves, okay? I want to I want to um pray. I want to pray for us on today. Amen. I'm looking at my time, but I want to pray for us today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because I don't want us to walk out of here yes. feeling like we are less than. Yes. Okay? I don't want us to walk out of here feeling like, yes. you know what I'm saying, that we have to put up with the behavior of other people toward us because I don't love myself. Yes. Amen? Amen? And then sometimes because we don't love ourselves, we don't treat each other right. Yes. That goes back to what Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. And there are things that get in the way of us loving our neighbor. Yeah. Sometimes we could be tired. Sometimes we could be angry. Sometimes we could be hurting ourselves. And then those things get in the way yeah. of us loving others the way that we should. Sometimes we have problems. Sometimes we deal with being perfectionists. Everything got to be right. Dot every I, cross every T. It's not right. I don't want to see a piece of hair out of place. I don't want to see a, no wrinkles in them clothes. I don't, want to, I don't want to see them shoes turning over to the yeah. side. Everything got to be right. My God. Yeah. Amen. And that perfectionism drives you to push people away from you. Yeah. Because you feel like, well, I'm not perfect, so I'm yeah. going to make you be perfect. Amen. Come on. Yeah. So that means nobody can make any mistakes. Yes. Nobody can do anything wrong because yes. then you write them off. Yes. Kicking them to the curb because they don't got it together, child. Yes. Come on. Yes. And we can't have that attitude. And it's also connected to shame. 
shame and anxiety. Yes. We become anxious because everything has to be right. And we're thinking that we got to please people. And we can say to ourselves, I ain't worried about pleasing nobody. Well, why are you working so hard to try to make sure everything is perfect? Oh. Who are you trying to please? Because God is already pleased with us. Amen. He already loves you. So who are you trying to please? Because we're not happy mm -hmm. with ourselves. Because we don't love ourselves. But today, we're going to kill that giant. Amen. Yes. Today, we're going to kill that giant. Amen? Amen? I don't care what anybody else has said about you. I don't care what they talk about you about. I don't care if you've had, you know, dealing with family members. You know what I'm saying? I remember after my mother passed away, amen, it was this lady that used to always come by the place where I lived. And she would always tell the people that I was living with bad stuff about me. So it was like I couldn't do nothing right because every time I turned around, this woman is sitting on the porch telling these people stuff about me. Yeah, she got a big mouth and she don't listen to nobody and she's disobedient and she always doing this and that and she talked back. And well, I did do those things before, but I was trying to get it together. Yes. And here you are, put down bad seed for me. You're not even letting me, amen, get a clean start. Yes. You ever try to start over and come people on. always got something to come say? On, come on, come on. Something negative? Yes. And you trying to figure out, well, gosh, we was on good terms. What happened? All of a sudden, this yes. person is acting funny toward yes. me because somebody went over there trying to remind them about who you were. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Come on here. Thank you, God. You got to be able to love yourself even when people say stuff that is ugly about you. Yes. Can I tell you, somebody's always going to have an opinion? Always. always. Somebody's always going to have something to say. Always. But that does not mean that you are what they say. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll put another little tag on the bottom of my, sometimes I, I forget to send it, but it's on the bottom of my text messages. And on the bottom of my text messages, I will, I believe everything that God says about me. Everything that he says. Yes. Everything. And sometimes that's a stretch. Because some of the things that God says about me, I could never fathom. You could have never told me that, that I would be standing here talking to you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, sir, no, ma'am. No turkey and no ham. <laughs> okay? I'm not doing that. But when you understand that God has more for you than you could ever imagine, it makes all the difference in the world. Amen. It does. And it changes how you see things. Then that means that you don't have to walk around being negative Nancy. Mm -hmm. right. Oh my God, always negative. Yes. I don't like talking to people like that. Exactly. You talking faith, and they talking about, yeah, but did you see them cracks in the ground? Mm -hmm. We're going to walk over there. We're going to walk over here. We're going to do this. Yeah, but did you hear that it was going to rain? Yes, Jesus. It's going to rain if I show up anyway, so let's go ahead with it. You preach! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's rain. It's rain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. It, there's a good chance that we may not have good weather. Who cares? Amen. Amen. Stop letting yourself get caught up in what people think about you. Come on, stand to your feet. Let's pray. Hallelujah. What somebody else has to say does not matter. Amen. The only thing that matters is what does God say and what do you say? Yes. What does God say and what does what did you say? Yes. What do you say? How do I connect this to that thing right there? Is yes. that wireless? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Can I find it? Hallelujah. My, my thing probably not going to work right, but I wanted to play something for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know that sometimes it's hard to not see or even think about yourself what other people think. Okay? And this week, amen, I'm, I'm giving y'all exercise to do. I want you to go read 1 Corinthians 13. Those of you who did not. And I want you to see what the scripture says love is. 
That means that when the scripture says that love does not keep an account of wrong, that means even for yourself, when you do something wrong, stop telling yourself, dang, I just keep doing that. Nobody keeps doing anything. Because someday you're going to miss. Someday you may forget to do whatever it is that you do. So you can't be so hard on yourself. Forgive yourself of the things that have happened and that have gone wrong in your life. You're not responsible for everybody's actions. You're not responsible for how people respond to you. Yes. That's not your responsibility. I don't care how you feel about it. That's not the truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I want us to pray on this morning or this afternoon. I want us to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. That God would have his way. Yes. Amen. And not just that God would have his way, but that he would heal your heart today. Anybody in here, and I know, amen, I've been there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And sometimes I go back there where I just need God to heal my heart. I just need God to heal my spirit. Amen. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Amen. That's why we are here. Yes. Glory to God. That God will heal our hearts and heal our spirits. Amen. That he will get the glory out of our life. That nothing stands in the way of me becoming. When I say me, I mean you. Yes. Becoming everything that God has ordained. Yes. I don't care about the losses you have suffered. Listen to me. I have suffered loss. That's why, you know, and I, I, I have an ability to pick up on other people's hurts when they are hurting. Because I've been hurt. Amen. I've been wounded. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I've had to go without, you know what I'm saying, things as far as family is concerned. So that's how come I can feel certain things. You know what I'm saying? That's why when I hug you, I hug you tight. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because we everybody needs to know that they love. Yes. Everybody needs to know that. That's a terrible thing to walk around and don't feel like you love. Hallelujah, because I understand that if we don't get healed in our identity, yes. that we do things that we shouldn't. We behave in a way that we shouldn't. We give ourselves to people that we shouldn't. We think things that we shouldn't. We say things that we shouldn't, all because our identity is not healed. Yes. Okay, who got a better phone than me? Because, you know, um, this print is just not working here today. Hallelujah. You, you got a good signal? Just went on. Well, I'm mm. guilty. I'm okay, we're gonna see. Um, ma'am, I don't know where any of your things are on here. <laughs> this looks like my phone. <laughs> yes, are you on the speaker? Ready? You connected? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. okay. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up who I need to get here. All right, let me um, let me get let me get let me remember where that's at. Can you please connect to this thing first? <laughs> Amen. Who's this connected? Okay, go to, all right, go to YouTube for me, please. Go to YouTube for me. Amen. Glory. Glory. All right. Maybe I need to get off. Let me get off so then that way it won't, because um, you know sometimes these things are fickle and they don't work right when you got too many people on them. Amen. We're going to take a few minutes. Amen. Thank God for techn technology. Right. But we're going to wait a minute. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Are we on? Mm -hmm. We're on phone. Thank you. Yes, yeah, this is cooking. Now we're cooking with Crisco right here. Amen. You remember how you fried chicken and you yeah, fried like exactly. you know, no, Crisco? Right Crisco? Come on here. We don't want no Wesson. Uh -uh, uh -uh. We want Crisco. Oh. Amen. And I want the shortness so I can scoop it out. The good stuff. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, this is what I want right here. Glory. Amen. Let's see if you're working. Oh. We need your power. Yes. Right here in this room. All right. Oh, I done hit something, child. I did that. And we thank God for the commercials, too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Here we go. Okay. Can we move this thing right here? Can we move We need your power. Well, just slide it over just a little bit. Right here in Which way is the plug? Let's go this way. Slide it that way. We need your glory, Lord. Just slide it that way. 
right here on this on this altar right here for us amen hallelujah and amen i don't care about nothing else let's not be focused on anything else amen i want us to think about the fact that i need healing and i need god to do it and i need him to do it in this room right now i can't go another day hating myself i can't go another day not loving myself the way that the lord wants me to love myself and I realize that I can't be who God wants me to be. I can't accomplish what he wants me to accomplish unless I love myself. Amen. Come on. I want to pray with you on today. Amen. I want to pray with you today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today is the day of healing. It's healing Sunday. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. This is Healing Sunday. Hallelujah. Do it, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, God. Yes, We want you to do it, Jesus. Can you just worship the Lord right now? Hallelujah. Just anoint them for me, please. Amen. Put some oil on her hands. Amen. And y'all can just go from side to side. Just anoint them and come on through. You take one side, you take the other side. Hallelujah. I want to just worship the Lord right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, hallelujah, God. We bless your name. Did they anoint you? Did you get? Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want you to meditate on the Lord right now. I want you to close your eyes and shut everybody out. Shut everything else out. Oh, God, we bless you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You brought us here to heal us today. Hallelujah. It's Healing Sunday. Glory to God. You brought us here, God, in this room. Hallelujah. God, that we would know how much you love us. And you see each individual here today standing on this altar. Coming together in your presence. Hallelujah, God. And you already see the needs that they have, oh God. Hallelujah. I don't have what they need, but God, you have what they need, Jesus. You are a healer. You are a deliverer. You are a savior. You are the lover of our soul. Hallelujah. And you see every place that hurts. Hallelujah, Jesus. You see every place that hurts. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Let your love wash over them today, God. Let your love wash over them today, God. You see every event in their life that they have faced. Everything, God, that has shut them out. Everything, God, that has wounded them. Everything, Father, that has caused them, God, to be hurt. That has caused longings in their heart. We ask you today, be their healer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, I thank you now, Lord. For your hand, oh God, on this young woman, God. God, for your anointing that destroys every yoke. Let your love, God, watch over her, Jesus. Things that she has settled for in the past. Thinking that she didn't deserve better, God. We thank you for your healing in our heart today, God. In the name Jesus, touch her heart, touch her inner man, God, touch her very spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that she'll never be the same after today. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, 
of Jesus. Give her the strength to be the kind of mother that her baby needs, Lord. Hallelujah. Heal every hurt, God. Hallelujah, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, mighty God, in Jesus' name. Oh, take out the fear. Let fear flee from her today, God. Oh, God. Let the love wash over her, Jesus. Let her know that you love her, God, with the everlasting love. More than any other has ever loved her. In the name of Jesus. God, and we thank you for it right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, God. Oh, God, would you think that she's not enough? Would you think, God, that she don't have what it takes? God, heal her from the inside out. That she would know, God, that by your grace, you made her more than enough. Because you are more than enough, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Oh, God, let her life be changed forever today on this altar. Let her life be changed forever today, God. Let her encounter you today, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, for your glory. Woo, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, it's all right to just let it go and just say thank you, Jesus. It's all right. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo, God, do it in her inner man. Yes. Do it, God, even as she carry this baby. Yes. Hallelujah. And the love that she already has for this baby. Let her realize, God, that that's the same way you love her. Yes. Yes. It's the same way you love her. That you're looking out for her. That you don't want no hurt or harm to come yes. to her, God. Thank you, God. Yes. Oh, God, and whatever Thank it takes God. for you to protect her, you do yes. it. Yeah, God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus, and we bless you, Lord. Yes, we thank, we thank you, God. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God, in the yes. name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, yes. do it in the name yes. of Jesus. Right now, God. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you. Hey, yes. we thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes. Thank you, God. Yes. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes. Lord. Freedom over her life. Yes. Over her life. Over her life. Yes, thank you, Over her life, God. Freedom over her life, God. Freedom over her life, God. Freedom over her life. That the words of others would not have our hearts. That they would not have our mind, God. Oh, hallelujah, God. Let us see that she, oh God, deserves to have everything that you have ordained for her because you said so. Thank you, Lord. Because you said so, God. That I'm about to say. You, Hallelujah. That's it. Just let it go. Yes. Just let it go. Thank Just you, let it go. Yes. Right there. Let yes. it go. Yes. Do it, God. Do it, God, yes. for your glory. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Just let yes. it go. Yes. Don't hold on to it. No more after today. Let yes. it go. Yes. Hallelujah. Let it go. Yes. Tell him, say, Lord, I'm giving it to you. Yes. Tell him, I'm giving yes. it to you, God. Yes. It's all right. Let the words come out. Let it come out. I'm giving it to you, God. I'm giving it to you, God. It's all right. That's him healing. That's him bringing that healing to your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Take all the 
Now, baby, can you get this box of tissue from over there? It's something about you, you are love. You hear me? Love. Love. Even things about you that you think are unlovable. He loves you. He loves you. 